to speed or not to speed that is the question on june 27 2021 it was like any other weekend for the bunch of youngsters speeding on the gurugram faridabad highway near the delhi border this long stretch of road does not have a single speed breaker nor are there speed limits mentioned here and nor are there any speed cameras to check erring drivers not a single traffic policeman could be spotted youngsters on high speed motorcycles and remapped cars were driving at insane speeds as though it was a race track putting to risk the normal traffic cyclists and occasional runners what were they trying to achieve they went up and down the road at breakneck speeds exceeding 175 kilometers to 180 kilometers per hour easily the speeds were dangerously insane if the cops don't take control of this stretch soon or similar stretches across the country mistakes are bound to happen accidents and deaths cannot be ruled out in the near future speed they say thrills but kills too how is that when speed limits on indian roads range between 30 kilometers per hour in service lanes and residential areas to 50 and 70 kilometers per hour on normal roads to 120 kilometers per hour on some highways these motorcyclists and car drivers are able to drive so dangerously on this highway is the law an ass or are people absolutely mindless or insensitive when it comes to following the law or is there fun in breaking the law i'm talking about disobeying speed limits and racing on public roads i have more questions than answers today If cars and bikes are meant for the tracks why do they ply on public roads and why not on the tracks why do people fiddle with their cars electronic control unit or ecu it's called remapping it's basically rewriting the vehicle's ecu program and uploading the new software from the laptop via the car's onboard diagnostic port or obd The intention is only to boost the power and torque so that the vehicle can attain insane speeds. Are the traffic policemen in India aware of these at all? If they are, what are they doing to discourage this? Remapping a vehicle and boosting a vehicle's power with new performance parts are usually done by racing enthusiasts. But then that kind of vehicle is not driven on public roads, but is rather taken on a flatbed vehicle to the racing track where the vehicle can be driven in a controlled environment. Talking about performance, what about the decibel levels emitted by vehicles? youngsters chain their entire exhaust systems in bikes and cars to get the extra oomph from their vehicles car drivers can activate their valvetronic exhaust by the switch of their remote key and ensure that the vehicles emit a loud throaty sound and even perform powerfully are the traffic cops aware of these modifications done by people do they know how to discover the add-on parts that make a vehicle roar
In order to understand the insane manipulation of technology to boost vehicles and the dangerous driving and riding habits of the young, it is important not just for the public but also for the bureaucrats, politicians, the entire police force and vehicle manufacturers to come together and debate on the do's and don'ts of driving and riding at such high speeds. Even vehicle manufacturers need to take the blame. They need to explain why they make high-speed vehicles that are finally to be driven on public roads. It's time for a lot of answers. Should these vehicles not just be for the tracks? It's time to realize that public roads are no race tracks and that your ordinary cars and bikes are not meant for racing. India is an overpopulated country with far too many people and stray animals. Besides, we are a country with far too many people sleeping on road dividers and walking on the roads for lack of footpaths. You have got to drive carefully in such circumstances.